Today what we will do is, we will do a continuation of the video from yesterday. I will put the link of the video from yesterday on the comments below, on the description of the below. And uh, the video from yesterday was about the theory behind the equations of lines and planes in three dimension. I have proven of how you can get the equation of lines and planes, different forms of the equation, and also uh, another specific theory that I have gone is through is the distance of a point from a particular plane. Okay. Now to better understand those theories and formulas, we will solve a bunch of questions. These questions are taken from the book Calculus Early Transcendental 7th edition. Uh, this is a most commonly used college mathematics book. So I think you guys will be having a better understanding of the equations of planes and lines in three dimensions after today. Yeah. So let's go with the first question. The first question is find the distance or let's put it this way let's make it a little bit more interesting show that the distance between the two planes AX1 plus BY1 plus CZ1 plus B1 is equal to 0 and AX2 plus BY2 plus CZ2 plus D2 is equal to 0 is given by distance is equal to we have d1 minus d2 over a square plus b square plus c square yeah so here we have this formula okay now uh, let's uh, plug let's see how we can go ahead with this thing we have to prove in this case the distance between the two planes which is given ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus dd1 and the second plane is ax2 plus by2 plus cz2 plus d2 is equal to zero is given by this equation the first thing we need to notice you see these two planes are parallel planes why because if you see notice that the perpendicular vector which is given by a b c and the second plane is having the same perpendicular vector a b c so this tells us something special about the plane which means that both of the planes both of the perpendicular vectors are the same so they're parallel so remember that if a if two planes have the same perpendicular vector or their perpendicular vectors are proportional to each other then the two planes are parallel to each other so now let's go ahead and start solving for this uh, question so first of all let's consider a plane this is plane 2 and this is plane 1 okay so let's go for plane 2 okay and let's take a point on plane, plane 2 any point okay um, let's say I have taken the point when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Uh, this will give me the equation. So if I just plot in the equation, I will have, um, or better, actually, let me do it this way. Let me do it this way. I will have y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0. So y and z are both equal to 0. Uh, so let's solve for uh, what is the value of what is the x coordinates in this case? So the x coordinates will be if you plug in these zero values in this equation, you will get ax2 plus d2 is equal to zero, and then you'll have ax2 is equal to negative d2, and then x2, I'll remove this from here, is equal to negative d2 over a 
Okay, so the coordinates, the one coordinate we have is negative d2 over a, 0, 0. This is the point, because remember, in the formula, we always require a point. Okay, now, the next thing we need to do, the next thing we need to do is find the distance of this point from plane 1. This is plane 1, okay? I'll just write here plane 1 and plane 2, so you guys don't forget. This is plane 1. So the distance of this point, which is on plane 2, from plane 1. Okay, now let's plug this value in the formula of the distance that we know. Distance is equal to, so, which will be a into negative d2 over a plus b into 0 because this is 0, c into 0, this will be 0, plus d1. I'll take the absolute value because if it's negative, we have to make it positive, yeah, and then the magnitude of the orthogonal vector or the perpendicular vector. So it will be a square plus b square plus c square, d is equal to, we'll have d1 minus d2 over a square plus b square plus c square. You see? Now a and a will cancel here. It will become negative d2 plus d1, which I can write as d1 minus d2 over a square plus b square plus c square. We have achieved our proof. Here is the thing. It's matching. So we can stop the question here. So this is our second question for today. Uh, in this question, let's read the question first and understand it. Find the parametric equations of the line to the point 0, 1, 2 that is perpendicular to the line x is equal to 1 plus t is equal to and y is equal to 1 minus t and z is equal to 2t and it also intersects this line. So there are two conditions we need to fulfill. That is first is, let me underline them. It passes to this point. That actually three conditions. It should pass to this point. It is perpendicular to the line, these lines, and it intersects this line. So, three different conditions we need to fulfill. Okay, first of all, uh, let's write this in the symmetric form, the equation of the line, which they have given us in the question, in the symmetric form, okay? So, I'll write. So, we'll just make T the subject of the formula. Okay, and then equate all of them. So yeah, so it will be x minus 1 over 1, okay, is equal to, we'll make t the subject of the formula, it will be minus, okay, it will be y minus 1, so if you make is equal to t, and then let's see, next we have y is equal to 1 minus t. If you make t the subject of the formula, t is equal to 1 minus y. And then t is equal to y minus 1 over minus 1. Right? So t is equal to y minus 1 over minus 1 because we need this in this form. And let's write z. z is equal to 2t. z over 2 is equal to t. And we can have z minus 0 over 2 is equal to t. So, we have got three different equations for t. We can equate them all. Let's just equate them all. We'll have a second equation is y minus 1 over minus 1. Okay, this will be our second equation is equal to z minus 0 over 2. This is the symmetric equation of the line that has been given in this question, this line. Okay. Now, it is said to us that our line that we have to find is perpendicular to this line. It is perpendicular to this line. So, we need to find the direction vector of this line. We need to first find 
what is known as the direction vector of this line. So the direction vector of this line, as we know from the formula, can be given by n is equal to, uh, as mentioned in the previous video earlier, if you have the if you have an equation of the line, uh, if you have the equation of the line, let in symmetric form, the direction vector can be given by the denominators. Yeah, so the direction vector is given by one comma minus one comma two. This is a direction vector. Now, this direction vector is parallel to the line given in the question. Now, we cannot directly go and find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to it. So what we will do, we'll first find the equation of the plane that is perpendicular to this line. So the equation of the plane will be, all we know is we need to have one point. We already have a point here. And we need to have a vector that is perpendicular to the plane. Since the plane that we are going to consider, that's P1, let's say the plane will be PL1, okay? This plane is having, we need to have a vector for this plane which is perpendicular to this plane. Since this plane is perpendicular to this line, the vector which is parallel to this line will be perpendicular to this plane. So, for this plane, the n vector, the perpendicular vector will be given by 1 comma minus 1 comma 2 okay now uh, we need a point remember we need a point so the point will be we only have a point so we can just substitute the values so it will be into 0 sorry it will be 1 into x minus x naught which is 0 then we'll have minus 1 into y minus y naught which is 1 plus 2 into z minus z naught which is 2 is equal to 0. So let's expand this. It will be x minus y minus 1 into minus 1 will become plus 1 and then plus 2z minus 4 is equal to 0. So Let's just uh, simplify it further. It will be x minus y plus 2z, and then 1 minus 4 will become minus 3 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the plane that is perpendicular to this line. Okay, so let me just write down the equation of the plane here. I'll remove these things. Hope you guys have copied them already. Uh, The equation of the plane will be, so PL1, the equation will be x minus y plus 2z minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, now it said that the line that we have to find, it also intersects this line. So, that means that we need to find a line in this plane which is intersecting this line. So to do that, what we will do is, we will take the values of x, y, and z, and plug it in here and find the value of t. So what we will do, what is the value of x? x is 1 plus t minus y will be 1 minus t plus z will be 2t t is equal to 3, okay? So 1 plus t minus 1 plus t plus 4t is equal to 3. So t plus t, 2t plus 4t, 6t. 1 minus 1 will become 0 is equal to 3. t is equal to 1 upon 2. So t is equal to 1 upon 2. So now what we need to do is we need to find, uh, we need to find another point on this line using the value t is equal to 1 upon 2. When we put t is equal to 1 upon 2 on this equation, we will get the x, y coordinates of the line which is intersecting the, which is intersecting this line. That means when we put t is equal to 1 upon 2 in this part, in this line, we will get the coordinate which is common 
for both this line and the line we want to find out. So let's put them. So let's put t is equal to 1 upon 2, x is equal to 1 plus 1 upon 2, y is equal to 1 minus 1 upon 2, and z is equal to 2 into 1 upon 2. We will get here 3 upon 2, we should get here 1 upon 2, we should get here 1. So the point which is common, so I'll write here, common point is equal to We'll have 3 upon 2, 1 upon 2, and 1. This is the common point. This is a common point between both the list line and the line we have to find out. Okay? Move this. Now, uh, we need to have, so for the equation of the line, we need to have two things. We need to have a direction and we need to have a point. We already have a point. We have two points in fact, but we don't have a direction. To find the direction, we can do this. We can do this point minus this point. Let's say this point, I name it P, and I'll give it 0, 1, 2. And let's find the vector P, P, C. This vector will be 3 upon 2 minus 0 will be 3 upon 2. 1 upon 2 minus 1 will be negative half and 1 minus 2 will be negative 1. This is a direction vector because this vector is along the line P to PC because both P and PC lie to the line. In fact, we can have a much simpler direction vector. If you just multiply the whole direction vector by 2, you should get 3 minus 1 minus 2. I have done this because you know it's much easier to deal with uh, with whole numbers than with fractions and it's pretty much the same thing because we are not concerned with a particular vector we need a vector which is parallel to the line that we need to find out so you see these two lines, these two vectors are parallel because they are proportional to each other this vector is twice this vector they're proportional to each other okay so we have a vector which is parallel we have a vector which is, we have a point. So, we can easily write the equation of the line, if you remember correctly, uh, what the equation of the line is. Uh, in the vector form, in the vector form, the equation of the line, so if you can just say, so it will be zero, x naught, plus t into a, so 3 upon 2t, and then y naught, so y naught is 1, minus 1 upon 2t, and then 2 minus t. So we can write this in the parametric form, as I said, we need the parametric equation, so x is equal to 3 upon 2t, y is equal to 1 minus 1 half of t and z is equal to 2 minus t. So these, this is the parametric equation of the line which is both perpendicular to this line and also it intersects this line. Find the equation of the plane. In this question we are going to find the equation of the plane which has an x-intercept of a, y-intercept of b and z-intercept of c. So let's down, write down the points very shortly. So we'll have point P, which is the x-intercept A0, zero, zero. we'll have the point Q, which is the y-intercept 0, B0, zero. and then we'll have the z-intercept, which is the point R, we'll have 0, comma, 0, comma, C. These are the names I gave from my own, you can give any letter you want. Uh, we need two things to find the equation of the plane. The first thing is a point. We don't have like rare scarcity of the points because we have three points here and we need a vector which is orthogonal to the plane or which is perpendicular to the plane. So let's go ahead and find out a vector which is perpendicular to the plane. So to do that, we need to find two vectors which is at, at least in the plane. So let's do PQ and PR. You can do QR, QP, 
you can do RQ, RP, up to you. I'm just going to take PQ, PR. So PQ will be uh, minus A, and then B, and zero, and then PR will be minus A, zero, C. Okay, you just subtract the terms, okay? So now, we have to find a vector which is perpendicular to the plane. To do that, any vector which is perpendicular to these two vectors will be the one that is perpendicular to the plane. So that vector n can be found by the cross product of these two vectors. The cross product, if you remember how we do the cross product, we write the i, j, and k into a matrix, and then we write down the i, j, k terms, minus a, b, zero, minus a, zero, c. The cross product, let's compute the cross product, so i, it will be, let's cover this up, it will be b, zero, zero, c, minus j, it will be, we'll cover this middle, middle column and the first row as usual, and then it will be minus a zero and then minus a c okay and then we'll have plus k here we'll have we'll cover this the third column and the first row will have minus a b and then we'll have minus a and then zero okay so we'll simplify and do this rule so i'll take the eraser i'll rub this I'll rub these things. I'll rub the unnecessary part from here. Okay. So, we can continue. Let's simplify. So, if you see, it will be BC into I plus. Why plus? Because you see, negative A into C minus into minus a into zero which will, this term will become zero and negative a into c into positive into negative j will become a positive a c j and then plus y plus again because negative a into zero is zero minus minus a into b which will become positive a b into k so this is the vector which is perpendicular to the plane we want and we already have a point p so let's just put everything in the equation. We will have BC into X minus A plus AC into Y minus zero plus AB into Z minus zero is equal to zero. This is the equation, which is the, we have to just take the dot product of this into our vector PQ in, into any uh, R minus R naught. So this is R minus R naught for this case will be a comma b comma a comma zero comma zero. Okay, so once we do that, once we do that, so we will have we'll just expand the brackets, b c x minus a b c plus a c y, and, and then a c to zero is zero, and then plus a b z is equal to zero. We'll bring the constant which is a b c on the other side on the right hand side. We'll have BCX plus ACY plus ABZ is equal to ABC. We'll divide the whole equation, or we'll multi we'll divide the whole equation by one upon, or we'll multiply the whole equation by one upon BC. Let's move this part. We'll multiply the whole equation by one upon ABC. So you will get the term. If you multiply the whole equation by 1 upon ABC, you will get X upon A plus Y upon B plus Z upon C is equal to 1. So this is the equation of the plane, the scalar equation of the plane with the X intercept LA, Y intercept B, and Z intercept C. Uh, this is the last question for today. Uh, if you want a theory behind this, these questions that I have solved today, you can always refer to my previous video, which will, the link will be given below. And uh, 
If you have any questions or if you have any further more questions that you want me to do in a video, please put them in the comment section and please subscribe uh, my channel. Please like the channel and if you want more videos of about any more chapters and maths that you think you need help with, please put the, those uh, headings of the chapters in the comment section. If you have any specific questions, you can put them in the comment section. Uh, well, um, and then I hope you liked the video and thank you for watching today.